Welcome back to the Amy Noel on Dyslexia YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited to make this video because it's been on my mind for uh, about a year. I'm going to talk about all the different reading programs that I've used with my kids. I'm going to tell you at the end if I could do it over what I would do for all of my children. I'm going to start with the ones that we used first, so go in order of how we came across them. Number one, we used a book called Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. I made a video all about that. It is not a book for kids with dyslexia. It's a great book for a child who doesn't have dyslexia. It teaches blending and some of the techniques in it I also see in the Barton Reading and Spelling System, but it does not have enough repetition for somebody with dyslexia and it's not designed for someone with dyslexia. Uh, then for a lot of years, I didn't want to purchase a program because money was really tight. I was just trying to teach them myself by reading to them. Then I came across the videos Dyslexia Improvements, which are great informative videos. I tried a couple alternative solutions for kids with dyslexia. We did the program Learning Success that I came across on YouTube and we did Brain Balance for a few months. I tried changing their diet. I don't really recommend those, but I know they've worked for some people. What I know is sure and solid is an Orton-Gillingham program or structured literacy. Structured literacy is considered an approach like a scope and a sequence and Orton-Gillingham is considered a method or a way of teaching it. However, it's kind of used interchangeably because Orton-Gillingham programs also have the scope and sequence of structured literacy. I finally decided to invest some money in buying a reading book for my children because trying to piece together the scope and sequence of teaching someone to read was too difficult for me to do on my own. My dad had talked to a reading specialist who had given him some advice about teaching kids to read. He taught us a couple methods like for me pointing to the top of the word while my child points to the bottom of the word and I really recommend that. That's been helpful. I think that he might have recommended this book to us but it's teaching your children to read using the Book of Mormon. We're members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints so we study the Bible and the Book of Mormon. So for us, this was something I was interested in. So it basically goes through and incrementally teaches sight words and sounds and then has readings for each of those. It also has nonsense words, so that was really good, and parts of words, and time drills. So it was a good book it, and, and it showed some results for Michael too. I would go into the classroom and work with him an hour a day a few times a week and he jumped up two grade levels really fast within a few months. And then we went into the shutdown. This was the 2019-2020 school year. So so when the shutdown happened, everything got kind of turned upside down. I was still doing this with him, but then we got into some other things because I was working with the other children as well. I joined some Facebook support groups for parents of kids with dyslexia and I learned about this book. Somebody recommended it and so I thought, hey, might as well get it. I got one for each of the kids. So I had Michael, Jeff, Daniel, and Jacob doing this. This book is pretty good too. My problem with this book is that it's not thorough enough. There's not enough multi-sensory things going on. Honestly, what appealed to me about it was the price. Then I heard about Toba toe which is highly recommended by people in Britain so I guess it was like the Barton of Britain it seemed to be the go-to there's a whole bunch of nonsense words in here which is nice the thing I don't like about it is it's not very thorough it's kind of boring and um, Jacob hated it he didn't like it and I tried stairway to spelling it's kind of um, the continuation of toe by toe and I used it for a while with Michael and Jefferson but we didn't get a lot of good results. It was like at first I thought we were but then after a few days of not doing it they they would go back to their old spelling. During 2020 there were a lot of promotions for virtual reading programs. I came across a program called Learn Reading. You could do the first 30 days for free. Jacob and I tried it out and he really liked the method of sounding out the word. Learn Reading was a really good comprehensive program, very multi-sensory, thorough. Jacob just didn't like that at the end of every lesson, instead of using nonsense words, there were kind of obscure vocabulary words and he had to make up sentences with them. And it was really frustrating to him, especially because he has expressive and receptive speech delay. Most common words are uncommon to Jacob. So doing these really obscure words was very frustrating to him. At that time, we also did a trial with Reading Horizons for Michael and Jefferson. It was online. My kids just do not do well with online 
programs. Reading Horizons is also a thorough structured literacy program. Because we were doing it virtually, it didn't work for Michael and Jefferson. Here at this point, I'm still trying to get stuff for free. I'm still afraid to buy anything that's over $50. Then one day, my dad called me up and offered to pay for tutoring for Jacob. By this point, I had heard about Barton Reading and Spelling System. Here it is. Barton, look at this. This is just one level. It's super thorough, super slow paced, sometimes a little bit too slow paced, so I'm a little more responsive with my kids and I will not make them do every single thing. So Jacob started Barton tutoring. After a while, he did not want to keep doing it. I tried all my awesome parenting techniques and Jacob, he has autism and he has some pathological avoidance or something. So finally I let him quit and we decided to pass it on to Jefferson. Again on a Facebook support group for parents of kids with dyslexia, I came across somebody who was giving away all of the levels of All About Spelling. They mailed it to me for free. My kids hadn't done the reading program but we started with All About Spelling. And after doing that for a few months I was doing that with Jefferson, Michael, and Daniel. Then Jacob stopped tutoring with Barton and we decided to let Jefferson take his place. And so I was doing All About Spelling with Michael and Daniel and Jacob was just taking a break for a while because I really didn't know what to do for him and I could tell that it must be something more than dyslexia so that's when I started to get him tested for autism which he does have. Then after Jefferson doing Barton for a while my dad offered for Michael to do it as well. I finally came to the realization that it would be better for me to just go ahead and invest the 200, 300 whatever dollars in the reading programs and go back and do the actual reading program instead of just all about spelling because it was given to me because I felt like he was missing reading rules and things. I really like all about reading and there's kind of a debate between these two programs among homeschoolers. I don't know if it's a debate, but if you were going to compare the two, All About Reading is kind of more kid-friendly. It's more colorful, there's more activities, but it's not as slow-paced as Barton and it's not as thorough. There's also more reading book with All About Reading. All About Reading is designed to be done by a parent. It's really fun for the kids, but at the same time, it's for younger children. So the uh, level one is for a first grader and Barton isn't like that. The levels don't go by grade and it's designed so that it can be good for an adult or a young child. So that is the appeal of Barton for like somebody in eighth grade. This appeals to younger children, but Daniel is young, so it's perfect. It takes some preparation but then you see there's like all these fun things and activities to do. Let me give you a peek into Barton Reading and Spelling System. It doesn't look that impressive, but um, but the scope and sequence is really good and there's a lot of nonsense words. And what I really like about Barton Reading and Spelling System is that the child learns to spell as they learn to read. And I don't like that about All About Reading that you go through all the reading and then you go through all the spelling. I love that it's combined in Barton. I've been trying to incorporate that on my own with Daniel and All About Reading. At the end of every lesson, when he has to read the words, I also have him write the words. The other downside of All About Reading is that there are no nonsense words and those are very effective in teaching decoding. I love that about Barton. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to talk about foundation and sounds. Through Michael and Jefferson's Barton tutor, we learned about foundation and sound. Foundation and sounds is for auditory processing, which a lot of children with dyslexia struggle with because it's very hard to hear the different sounds within a word. It's really hard to pull apart and put together words and tell what's the middle sound, what's the first sound. Not only that, the memory, the auditory memory is weak. I purchased this program to do with Daniel because the tutor was doing it with Michael and Jefferson. I gave Daniel the pretest for Barton and he failed part C, which means that he has auditory processing issues. We did this program, but we only did half of it because by the time we had done half of it, he kind of had the skills down. So I retested him and he passed and it was really slow paced for him. So I think I had this like switch in my mind where I was like, I don't care how much the program costs, I'm gonna buy it for my kid. That was probably in part because of the stimulus money. So we had some extra hundred dollars. The last program I wanna talk about isn't really a program. It is a book all about phonemic awareness. Phonemic awareness is part of phonological awareness. It's one of those base skills in the scope and sequence of structured literacy. Frankly, a lot of kids don't get enough practice in this. I learned about this through the Barton tutor. Every time Michael and Jefferson would sit down with their Barton tutor, they would start out with a warm-up 
from Equipped for Reading Success. And then after my last video with Trevor Clark where he talks about this, I was like, I should really look into that. So I purchased the book for $50. I tested each of my kids and figured out what levels of phonemic awareness they need to work on. I think that's it for all of my reviews. Maybe I'll split this up into shorter video segments. Here's the big moment. If I could go back if I could do it all over again, this is what I would do with my little baby toddlers that have dyslexia. When they're two to three, I would show them the letter factory, which I did do with Jefferson and Daniel. It helps so much because with dyslexia, they need a lot of repetition to learn those letter sounds. I had Jefferson and Daniel watch the letter factory every single day. Before they could watch anything else, they had to watch the Letter Factory. They learned those letter sounds really well because of that repetition, and they were young enough to enjoy it. I would also have them, when they're two to three, watch nursery rhymes. A part of phonological awareness is rhythm and learning the beat and learning songs and being able to mimic those. That's an important pre-reading skill. Also, when they're two to three, I would do lots of flashcards with them. We did this with my oldest son, like little toddler flashcards of like animals, color Colors, shapes, numbers, letters, and learning game. Toys that help them learn their shapes and toys that help them develop thinking skills. I mean, I did a lot of those with Jacob, but then he needed the next step. Here it is. When they're four years old, I would do foundation and sounds with them. This teaches them their letter sounds, which they are already familiar with because of Letter Factory, and it also teaches them sequencing and auditory memory. I would also get equipped for reading success and do it for a few minutes before we do foundation and sounds. After they do foundation and sounds as a four year old, as soon as they're done with that, still in preschool, I would start Barton or All About Reading with them or whatever program you choose. So at four years old is when I would sit down and start tutoring them for 20 minutes a day. The beginning levels of these programs are preschool levels, okay? There's a pre-K level for All About Reading and the first two levels of Barton, like the first level is just sounds and then the second putting like two sounds together it's, it's really, really basic. So you're doing your 20 minutes a day, four or five days a week with your child, going through these programs at four years old, five years old, you know how awesome that's gonna be? They are gonna be on target. Their brain is gonna be making connections. The neurons are gonna be growing and changing. They're actually gonna activate the language centers of the brain by doing these programs at that early age with their mom. It's so amazing. Before they're even two or three, from the moment they're born, I would start reading to my child, which I did with all my kids. And I have made a lot of videos about helping dyslexic children learn to love literature. When I was like rocking them to sleep at night and breastfeeding them, I would read little kids books to them and nursery rhymes and things like that. My kids are older now and I still read to them at night, but now we read chapter books and I love reading to them. What we've been doing lately is in the morning, if they get up early, they'll read on their computers on Myon, uh, which is through Accelerated Reader, which is through their school, or Epic, which we bought our own membership for. They really like the electronic books now. But at night, when I put them to bed, I read to them chapter books. We recently finished Where the Red Fern Grows, Huckleberry Finn. My kids were like getting on me for crying during Where the Red Fern Grows. It's such an uplifting book. We just finished Frankenstein. Last night we started The Prince and the Pauper by Mark Twain. So those are all the programs that we've been through and my advice. I would love to hear your comments in the video description. Keep up the good work. Everything's gonna work out fine. Thank you so much for watching.